So we're on our trip back to Ottawa. Yep. Today on Mixture Rich, I fly my buddy Saman for his first time in a general aviation aircraft. After a beautiful flight down to Brockville, Ontario, where we joined other pilots for lunch and hangar talk, we head back to Ottawa. Stay tuned till the end of this video for talk about getting into general aviation and a few fun surprises at Ottawa International Airport. Cameras are going, 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 going. Going, going, going. Big smiles on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Huge smiles. That's it. For the Mixture Rich channel, <laughs> we didn't do a lot of talking on the flight down here because we were kind of busy. But uh, on this flight back, we're going to, even though it's a very short flight, we'll try to have a, a good chat. <laughs> right on. I'm taking off of runway 04 here at Brockville. It's just a gorgeous day. And uh, we're going to do a little detour over downtown Brockville and then uh, start heading uh, northbound uh, back to Ottawa. So enjoy the flight. All right, so let's uh, power this baby up. Full throttle. Full throttle. Not much of a wind to talk about. Nope. I got full RPM. Airspeed is alive. 60 miles per hour and rotate. And up we go. Rockville traffic, uh, Foxtrot Bravo Pop Hotel climbing through 1100 for 1400 and uh, then we'll be taking a southbound turn uh, over the town of Rockville and then back up to Ottawa. Solar farm, eh? I was trying to, yeah, I guess those are solar panels, eh? Wow. So we are just now skirting the United States border. Yep. So I'll stay on inside of it. <laughs> They're frenemies. Friends and enemies at the same time. <laughs> on the Canada side and you're on the US. Yeah, I kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm in the I'm in the United States, uh, uh, I hear you guys say A a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we may not hear it, but Americans probably would. Uh, it's not quite the Toronto City Tour to pass over Brockville, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's the view down there? Looking good? Yeah, very good. Oh, awesome. Love it. Awesome. So I'm going to start a climb up to 2400 feet. We're going to pass right back over and top of uh, traffic. Traffic is a call of number 5883 Zulu is about five miles south uh, inbound for 27 Saranac Lake. That's in the U.S. Saranac Lake. Yeah. Montreal Center, Foxtrot Bravo Papa Hotel, uh, climbing through 4200 north of Brockville. Charlie, Foxtrot, Bravo Papa Hotel, Montreal Center, hello, it's Clark Adams. Hi Dan, uh, Bravo Papa Hotel. So would that be like the Montreal Airport then? That's in the... No, it's uh, Montreal Center that's covering uh, everything from Boston to Montreal, to, and then there's Boston, and then there's Toronto. So now we're like the big region. Yeah. Bravo Papa Hotel, you are identified at 4,900 feet in the climb. Just a reminder that you are within an airspace where you are responsible for avoiding other aircraft. We'll be looking out for the traffic. Thanks very much. Uh, Bravo Papa Hotel. Ottawa Terminal, Foxtrot Bravo Papa Hotel, 5,500. Foxtrot Bravo Papa Hotel, uh, Ottawa Terminal. You are identified at 3023. Uh, maintain 5,500 to see direct Ottawa International and then Rockland. Proceed direct uh, Ottawa International 5500 and onward to Rockcliffe. I, I may have a request later on for tower if I can get a low and over Bravo Papa Hotel. Bravo Papa Hotel, a from if that will be possible. Thanks very much, Bravo Papa Hotel. We are now nicely trimmed out and everything uh, <laughs> set up for our flight. We're on autopilot. Awesome. We're flying at uh, 5,500 feet. We're direct inbound uh, for Rockcliffe, but it actually passes us right overhead of uh, Auto International. Right. Yeah. 
say buzz through the Ottawa airport, would it be, how, how, you think you're going to dip it down a bit, or you guys keep the same, uh, uh, sorry, elevation, or? Yeah, so he would keep me at an altitude that works for them in terms of inbound and outbound traffic at Ottawa International. Uh, but in this case, I've asked him for a special request that we can get a low and over. So what they'll say is, okay, uh, he'll give me instructions to vector me in, and he'll say, okay, let's say do a low and over over runway um, uh, 07, let's go. So we'll come down. As if we're approaching the airport, then we'll just lift back up and, and head into Rockland. Cool, cool. So that was a short, short flight, but still a nice uh, introductory flight. Absolutely. Over to Brockville. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, I know before the flight, you told me how much uh, you've looked forward to general aviation and getting a, an opportunity to go up in a small aircraft and see what it's like. It's because you might be thinking about it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially after today. It's one thing to have the idea of it or like being able to see, you know, online or videos about it, but it's a whole different experience when you're in person. And I think the uh, introduction today, especially just with the event that Byron had going on, was a great introduction to it because there are like multiple walks of life and it kind of shows you how everyone kind of joins together for aviation. So yeah, it was a great day. It's a good community generally. Yeah, so that's yeah. awesome. And we like to, uh, you know, get together as much as we can and share stories. There's always, you know, you, you heard some pretty wild stories. Yeah, absolutely. And also some pretty good ones. but. At the same time, even those wild stories are good for us because they're they're all learning experiences. For sure. Um, so, I mean, flying when you get your pilot's license, uh, and I know this is going to be corny for you people who are pilots listening, and maybe you've heard this a, a million times. But if, when you get your license, it's a license to keep on learning. Right. Right. So you you're you're now safe enough. <laughs> yeah. And now what you want to do is continue learning, and that's I mean, there's the formal training that you can do. You can get your night rating. You can get your multi-engine rating, you can get your in-flight rating, you can get your commercial, you can get an instructor rating, you can become an ATCL and fly for commercial airlines. Uh, those are all, you know, uh, formal learning. Right. But uh, but even within the the rating that you have, you're learning. Exactly. You're, you're going to encounter different experiences, different weather conditions, different new navigation challenges, uh, and of course, like you know, there's sometimes unexpected challenges that you you have to you have to face. And the more you hear about it from other people, the more you learn. Yeah, 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 exactly. So obviously you can already see Ottawa in Auto the distance. There, right? <laughs> yeah. And we're basically flying straight towards uh, the international airport. Right. So just looking at our, uh, our monitoring here, looking good. Our RPMs are good. Fuel pressure is good, we're holding, our oil temperature is good, our oil pressure. So we're always scanning in the aircraft to make sure that our instruments are telling us that the aircraft is performing. Uh, uh, so, of course, I can look at my RPMs. I know that what I set it to, it's doing what I'm expecting. If I were to see my RPMs start to drop, it could mean a lot of things. It could mean I'm, I'm, I'm running out of fuel in that tank. It could mean that uh, I've got uh, fouling on my plugs and it's starting to, uh, to, to, to misbehave. Uh, there could be a, uh, other types of uh, issues with uh, the magneto system, but that's why I was explaining to you earlier on that we have uh, redundancy in the aircraft, right? So the magnetos, which create the spark for the for the combustion, there are two of them. So there's a left magneto and there's a right magneto. Instruments have redundancy. We can we can use other instruments as backup, right? So I have my attitude indicator, but if this this is gyroscopically driven, this is telling me I'm flying straight and level. But if it were to fail. I can still tell if I'm flying straight and level other than looking outside the aircraft. I can see my altitude's not changing. I can see my, my turn coordinator telling me, you know, which which uh, direction of bank I'm in on the left or right. If, it, if I'm banking to the right, then obviously I'm not wings level, right? right? So you can use other instruments as a proxy. You can use your, your airspeed as a proxy. If I had suddenly rapidly increasing airspeed, I'm probably I'm probably descending. Right. If I had rapidly de decreasing airspeed, I'm probably ascending. I'm probably ascending. <laughs> When you look at it as a, as a holistic point of view, you look at all of these things and you hear the, the pilot talking on the radio and all of the things you have to know and you think, oh my God, that's overwhelming, right? Yeah. That's not how you learn how to fly. You learn piece by piece by piece. If you have a good instructor, uh, good instructors always work with people to build confidence and not to, you know, not to scold people on mistakes, but to learn from mistakes and to, and to build on from there. Bravo, pop out, Bell contact Ottawa Tower, which you request 1188. 1188, uh, Bravo, pop out, Hotel, have a good day.
Ottawa Tower, Fox Shot Bravo, Papa Hotel, then it's descending through 2300 for 2000. Uh, request uh, low and over the airport. Bravo, Papa Hotel, Ottawa Tower, uh, good day. The ultimate are 3023, and uh, I'll give you runway uh, 07. Continue on that heading for now, and I'll uh, turn you for right base shortly. I've got uh, traffic 737 joining about uh, 12 miles, uh, flying miles to the uh, threshold. You'll be behind him. Caution, wake turbo. Continue on this heading for uh, 07. You'll give me a right base and caution, wake turbo, 737. Continuing through to 2000. Uh, Bravo, Bravo Hotel. You're going to get a treat. You're going to watch a 737 come right across us and land on 07 over there. I heard them saying that and I was like, is that what we talked about? Yep. Behind you about the Okay, so we're at 2000. Turn left heading 340. Left 340, Bravo Papa Hotel. Beautiful altitude though, eh? Yep. Kilo Yankee Zulu, traffic 12 o'clock. If, you're, miles, if you get your camera ready, ready for video, you should see that 737 pilot. coming right yeah. out. Yeah. traffic will eventually be under you at... Oh, oh, there's the 737. See it? Look out. Okay. Look straight out. You should see the glint off the sun right there. Kind of. Got it? Look out this way. Take off runway 04, Romeo, for Shake Back. Left 290, Bravo Papa Hotel. But it's 6 10 Ottawa Tower, good day, ultimate R2-0-2-3, wind is 3 uh, Oh, okay, now I see it, now I see it. Okay, oh yeah, get, get that on video if you can. Yeah, yeah. we can for question, 6 10. But it's 6 10 additional uh, traffic on your uh, right wing by about 5 miles. A uh, Cherokee will be following you. <laughs> We're looking for the traffic, question 6 10. Hi! <laughs> Hi, Wesh. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Uh, That's amazing. Uh, Cool, eh? That's amazing. Double hotel turn uh, inbound for runway 07 at your discretion. Caution, wake turbulence. Inbound 07 at my discretion. Caution for wake turbulence. Bravo, Papa Hotel. Bravo, Papa Hotel. You're cleared low and over on runway 07. Caution, possible wake turbulence from the departed RJ. The wind is 320 at uh, 3. Descend at my discretion. After a great day of flying down to Brockville and back with some men, we head back to Rockcliffe. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and also hit that notification bell to be kept informed of upcoming videos.